Lagos. Go and preach in Lagos. I don't run a church. I'm not coming here to tell you, come to my church. But I'm telling you the warning that God gave me. He said, this goes to everybody must hear. Go to that Lagos and preach. I say, yes, Lord. Thank you for this message that you gave me. I am going to Lagos. I started preparing until I got here there before yesterday. I've been preaching along the other side. And today, God ordered my step to preach here. Lord, so shall we want your kingdom tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Those who are sick, they shall receive their healing this morning. Amen. Those who are oppressed shall be set free this morning. Amen. The power of God shall touch each and every one of those people. Amen. That believe in your name. Amen. That accept in your work. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you, because Jesus. Because I know you answer. Yes, sir. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Don't take your business more seriously than the word of God. When you have Jesus in you, you are greater than the billionaire. The richest man in this Lagos, you are bigger than him. Because that man does not have Jesus. His life is filled with crisis. So, I want you to listen this morning. And you shall be blessed greatly. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know many of you under the sound of this voice, you are frustrated. Many does not even want to hear the name of the Lord anymore. Because you have had situations. You pray, depending on the name of God. And you did not hear anything from God. Your situation was not solved. And you now hate God. I want to tell you, God is not a native doctor. And when you enter his shrine, and you lock your hand, and he come out and begin to tell you what you want to hear. God is God. He's a God that is holy and righteous. When he never answer your prayers, it doesn't mean that God hates you. God wants to test you. God wants to try your humility. We see the story of Job. Job was in affliction. The wife of Job came to him and said, Close God and die. But Job said, No, I will never say that, that kind of thing. My wife, why do you talk like one of those foolish women? At the end, Job endured. Only God knows how many years Job endured in the Bible. Job did not cause God to sleep, neither commit sin. He waited upon God. At the end of it, the Lord blessed Job more than how many fold of what he has before. That is what I want to tell you this morning. You may be tired. You may be discouraged. I saw a man in the internet. His name is Matthias Echiofo. He said he's a doctor in Enugu State. If you open your YouTube, you are going to see him. That man got angry that he was treating people. Some who died when they take them to church for busting or prayer house. He got angry and said, God never exists. A young man like this, how long do you think he has stayed in this world? That he has not seen the hand of God and he's getting angry. For him to be alive is a big testimony from God, but he didn't know. He carried the Bible, he tear them out one by one, and he said prayer on it. And said, to hell with your Jesus. The Bible is a, is a fake book. The Bible has made them to die, many of their people die. That Jesus does not exist. How many of you support what that man is saying? The Lord Jesus exists. Look at the clouds. Look at the heavens. You will see that it is only God that can do this. It's a God that single-handedly created the earth. How were you from in your mother's belly you did not know? So why are you getting discouraged? Why are you getting tired? Because you have not hand on the door of God and he has not answered you. The patient God in the father's world. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 that the vision is yet for appointed time. Even though in time you wait for it. At the right time, the Lord will open that your very womb. In appointed time, the Lord will open your closed door. In appointed time, the Lord will disgrace your enemy. In appointed time, that sickness you are crying day and night. High blood pressure, cancer, epilepsy, hemorrhoid, and so on and so forth. The Lord will take 
pray the way in appointed time. Amen. I want to tell somebody this morning, hold your peace. Do not follow this antichrist. Agents, do not follow them with your evil word against the name of the Lord. Those people have seen, and the Lord has given them into a reprobate mind. They can never repent. I beg you, my sisters, my brother, listen to me now. The Lord is coming back. He's coming to join the living and the dead. At the throne of God. At the, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the Lord Jesus will appear on the cloud. I want to ask you, if you do you know the day that the Lord will come, no. you don't have an idea. That is how the day you will die, you don't know. If you go to the mortuary this morning, you will see souls. You will see souls. They have passed. Some people die this night in the hospital. Some people die in their sleep. Some people you saw in the market yesterday. Today they are no more. They put the grab and buy with you and eat that fancy. They never had the opportunity to take breakfast on the same table with their family this morning. They are member and morning right now. They are souls in the in the mortuary. Life continues. If you die in this business you are doing, life continues. If you die right now, somebody else will take over the shop. Many of you does not want to hear the name of the Lord. Life is too short for you to put your mind in business. Life is too short for you to think that the things of the world will save you. If you don't turn from that wickedness, your time is running up. Yesterday was another day. Today is another day. You can never see yesterday again. The next, the next thing you will see is tomorrow. When you see tomorrow, you will see next tomorrow. And so shall it be. You are drawing close to your judgment. You are drawing close to the kingdom of heaven. The Lord will judge you on the way through judgment. The Lord will judge you. The Lord will judge you, Baltis. The Lord will judge you, Manizer. The Lord will judge you, kidnappers. The Lord will judge you, husband snatchers. The Lord will judge you, conventional people. The Lord will judge you, wicked politician. One day, not your best house. Somebody will sleep there while you are no more. One day, your phone, you will no longer use it. Somebody else will use your phone. What you don't think about it? All this business, as I'm preaching now, many people are listening. The word you hear today, let it not stand against you on the last day. Don't pretend you did not hear, because you had everything. Many of you as I'm preaching, your interest is not here. Your eye is in your business. Let me make money, 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 money. The money you are making, you don't know if you will eat it. You don't know if it's somebody else that will eat this money from you. I want you to shun sin from your life. I want you to repent this morning. I want you to hold on to God in righteousness because Jesus is coming any moment. He said, tell my people that I greater them for my glory. In Isaiah 43 verse number 7. Tell them I will come and judge the earth. I will pass my judgment on the wicked people. The Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Oh, and the Lord judges the righteous every day. God is coming to judge you. Brother, where will you spend eternity if you die today? Many of you, you keep your hair like women. Many of you, you have your hair style, Tony hair style. God does not like those things in his kingdom. Because no angel in heaven can pop. They are all normal as God created them. No, you can pop, you do that. Huh? Some of you put calories. Some of you put uh, relaxer. Some of you, you change your money to become that of another. God is watching you. So we are trying to emulate one man, they call for Brisky. A man in Lego State here, they call him for Brisky. He has turned himself to another person. He has become like for you both. He has turned himself a man. What a shame. The God who created you a man, does he not know the work he's doing? Why will you turn yourself to become a woman? Can't you nature? You have turned yourself to become a woman. Your reproductive system is still a man. You have to change. You have to change. You have to repent. You have to repent. Because Jesus is coming back to judge you, to judge me, to judge us. Is your name written in the book of life? I want to stop here this morning. The door of mercy is open. 
if, if you don't need to wait until you go to church. Today is Friday. Many people, they will not see tomorrow. Today is Friday. Many people will not wait until they go to church. Let me tell you something you don't know. I speak at the Spirit of God, give me the utterance. This message you are hearing now, in the market, from this people standing here, this message may be your last message. You may not hear a message again. You may not have opportunity to be in church on Sunday with your brethren. Who sleep, they don't wake up. I'm not saying it's going to be your portion, but you have to think twice. Make a wise decision this morning. Use this opportunity. Golden one is just for you to lift up your hand as a sign of total surrender. I say, Father, I have heard your message this morning. I am touching my heart. I want to give it all to you. Even as you are here in the market, if you decide to come the next five minutes, I am ready to go to heaven with you. If you make that decision this morning, you will never regret it. Because God will write your name in his book of life. I want to make peace with God this morning. I can see one hand here. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. I can see one hand. It's not a shame. I can see two hands to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Uh, I don't know the name of this market. This is Bandre Market here in Lagos. Two people in the whole of this Bandre Market are not ashamed of the name of the Lord. Uh, Let good doors in their life be opened. Amen. And release the key by the power and authority in the name of Jesus. Amen. Unto this one that accepts you. Receive the key and open your door. And have your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every evil door the devil open you. Your life. Amen. God does will close. Amen. The Lord will visit you. Amen. The Lord will elevate you. Amen. The Lord will transform your life. Amen. The Lord will take you to your destination. Amen. God cannot come from heaven and give you money. Amen. He has already blessed people to bless you. Yes, sir. May Amen. those people begin to locate you. Amen. May they 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 locate you. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord confirm his word with sign following. Amen. Many of you this morning, as you accept Jesus in your heart, you are not ashamed. You will receive a phone call that will transform your life. Amen. That Amen. one phone call will change your life. Amen. It will move you from glory to glory. Amen. From grace to grace. Amen. That place you are living is not conducive for you. You should be in three, four bedroom flats. Amen. That phone call will take you there. Amen. It will take you there. Amen. It will take you there. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to clap up green to the name of the Lord this morning. Clap your beautiful hand and tell the Lord I appreciate you. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Thank you. May your name reign forever. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.